I've recently had a finger issue and I'm wondering if it was caused by my phone. I read once that it's bad to hold your phone like this because you're putting pressure on your pinky in a way that is not really very normal and it can cause some nerve damage after, I don't know, prolonged performing of that action. This is often how I hold my phone. And I thought the pop socket concept was probably a good idea for me because like this phone has this case with a ring. I I don't I don't think I like that design. Uh, maybe, maybe not. This particular phone has that ring. This ring sticks out a little far in my opinion, especially if I'm going to lay this flat or put it in a phone holder in my car or like on this articulated arm that I'm using right now for my actual phone. But I didn't like the pop socket design so much because what I've seen, they're even thicker than this one. So what I found was Tango. This is actually kind of similar to the pop socket design, but I think better. Number one, it's thinner. Number two, it's metal. And it also doubles as a stand in two or three different positions. Look at the, the size of this thing. It's very thin. Uh, I can't wait to get it on my phone, but there's a problem. The phone case is textured. So you see these ridges on here. They're not terribly deep, but they're there. And before I bought this Tango, I reached out to the manufacturer and asked them about how it will stick to a phone case that has texture. And the answer that I got was basically, yeah, yeah, that is a problem. So my thinking is I want this product. I want the ability to hold my phone without putting pressure on my pinky because honestly, that weight on my pinky doesn't feel that good. Of course, I could spend less time on my phone, but that's not happening. So what can I do to avoid the situation? I like the case. I paid for this case. I don't want to get rid of the case. I've decided to sand a spot into the case to fit this Tango onto the case, but sand those ridges down to make as close to a flat surface as I can get. So that's going to be the project. I think I'll use my Dremel tool and sand down some ridges. But this is going to be a project because I have to figure out exactly where to put this on the case, draw just the right circle so that I can sand out just the right ridges. Then we'll see how well the adhesives work and how this whole thing performs afterwards. So,
I'm not sure how well this is going to work as a stand, and that is actually a good point. Um, this thing is designed not to be just something you can use to hold your phone, but it can also be a vertical or horizontal stand. Now, according to the instructions, in order to function as a vertical stand, it needs to be the very bottom of the case. And you can see that mine is not. I would have had to done some more sanding. Yeah, and I'm not sure I would have liked it there because of how I want to hold the phone. So. I'm thinking this is where it's going to work best for me. But I gotta make sure that that adhesive is making good contact. I sanded it as flush as I could with my Dremel tool and not being a professional sander guy. So we'll see. Um, I already like how this thing works. It's magnetic, very thin, you know, pretty unobtrusive. So we'll see.